na Muhammad KT News Nairobi all right, away from matters education and operations at the St. Elizabeth Mukumo Hospital have been paralyzed following the downing of tools by health workers and cleaners. The workers poured out onto the Kakamega Highway claiming they haven't been paid for the last five and ten months respectively and statutory deductions not being remitted. Despite pleas by the facilities management to be given two weeks to address their grievances, they have vowed to stay put until they are paid. Monday morning and operations on the Kakamega Kisumu Highway were temporarily halted following demonstrations by health workers and subordinate staff from St. Elizabeth Mukumu Hospital. <laughs> the health workers claim they have gone without pay for the last five months while cleaners haven't received their salaries for 10 months. We have been patient enough for the last five months working without any salaries in our banks. We are in high and hyper-financial uh, situation, as we speak now. Uh, we are the guys who are providing for our uh, members at home, but we are not able to say that we don't have any money. And up to today, uh, since the time that we employed, we have been uh, deducted uh, some amount to go to the Britam Insurance, but until now, it's not being uh, Remitted. And being a healthcare worker, you deal with a lot of stress. So you can imagine if you are a doctor, a nurse, you are a casual worker in a hospital and you're not being paid for five months. And you know, five months is for the medical staff. The casual workers, they have not been paid for almost 10 months. So that is really creating a toll on us and uh, demeaning our spirit, our morale, ya kufanya kazi. They claim besides delay of their pay, there has been non-remittance of statutory deductions and have missed crucial services and facilities. The agitated lot further accuses the facilities bosses of high-handedness and a toxic environment. There is a pile-up of uh, penalties and fines that have not been paid. The hospital welfare is here, but whenever an issue arises, the main thing it remains there's no money yet it's being deducted from our salaries we lack essential service we lack essential supplies and infrastructures sometimes patients come to us and we're not able to provide them with it uh, with the necessary services because we lack drugs um, our lab most of the time is not functioning because we lack the essential reagents so that is not um, something that we are proud of as a facility we have been deducted for the last two years two years imagine Two years, almost three. But at all, when we go there at the Britam offices, there's nothing that has been deducted, nothing that has been remitted there. So we wonder if this man is not with us, where is it? It is not with us, it is not there. Where is it, surely? For God's sake, surely. The hospital is fully run by a board appointed by the Catholic Church and it's split with the workers to shelve their strike for two weeks as room for addressing their grievances fell on deaf ears. We want to assure you that we want to work on it because Babu, we have received your grievances officially. Come a board, the management may to brief situation in your work on now. So we were, we were requesting if you give us two weeks. As you give pressure to us, we have also to pressurize the NHIF to give us money. That's why we don't want to tell you that we are giving you money now that we don't have. Uh, that's why we want you to, keep, uh, to be patient. We follow up because we have already started pre also pressurizing them. Just the, the way you are also pressurizing us. We understand your situation. Alano Chanda, KTN News. We tell you 